What is going on, peoples? It appears that control is coming to Game Pass. Say they so. Let's get into it. What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It's your boy, MM2K, back again with another, another video. Can't even talk. I'm so excited about this one. But do me a huge favor, all right? Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please. So you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up because y'all know the deal. I am not too proud to ask. Okay, let's get into it. All right. So breaking news, people. And this one's totally slipped under the radar. But big ups to the homie Club World out on Twitter. And I'll get into why he's getting a shout out in a, in a minute. But it sounds like that Phil Spencer has officially announced that Control, game made by Remedy, published by 505 Games, is coming to Game Pass. Yes, coming to Game Pass. Okay, so with no further ado, let's get into all this juicy news, all right? So I had the pleasure of waking up to this, all right? Tweet from the homie Club bro. He says, Phil Spencer, quote, I thought Control was really good. It didn't reach enough people, so I'm glad to see it's coming into Game Pass. So hopefully more people can play it. 44 minutes, two seconds, you know what I'm saying? And, and then he provides this link to this video. So I'm like, well, what, what is he talking about? What, what, what is all this whoop to do about? And here's what the whoop to do is about, okay? So if you check here, there's this video it link, that links to this, and you can see to the left there, that's your homie Phil Spencer, you know what I'm saying? And he's sitting down with the Extra Life people, and I'm like, oh, okay, so... When did this happen? And it happened three days ago. If you can see down here at the bottom, three days ago. So I'm like, hold on. This happened three days ago? Well, what was said? What, what did the homie Phil Spencer say? And I'm going to mute this music for a second because I want y'all to hear this, okay? So pay close attention to what Phil Spencer is, well, is saying. I really... I thought control was really good. Yeah, that's it, a good. That's a good example. It didn't reach enough people, so I'm glad to see that it's coming in to Game Pass. So hopefully, more, more people will play it, it yeah. because it's a game that should be played from our friends at Remedy. We love Remedy. Remedy. Um, there were a lot. The COD camp. So we go. Let's do this again. One more for those of y'all that missed that. Let's play it again. I really. I thought control was really good. Yeah, that's, that's a good. Good, That's a good example. It didn't reach enough people so i'm glad to see that it's coming in to game pass so hopefully more, more people will play it, it yeah. because it's a game that should be played from our friends at remedy we love remedy remedy um there were a lot the cod camp so there you go people there it is phil spencer announced it and i don't know how we missed it but it sounds like control is coming to game pass when we don't know he did, did nobody nobody elaborated so what could this all mean Okay, well, I think that this is potentially big news on several fronts. First and foremost, I think that this provides a serious opportunity for Xbox, right? Um, if they do this. And I hope the people at Xbox are listening. I know they listening. I know they listening to my dog crap channel. So, so take heed, Xbox. If y'all temporarily drop the retail price, of the sad edition to 149 like how y'all did for the holidays and had y'all sell some units you know ship some units off the shelf right and then y'all add in six months a game pass you know what i'm saying that'll help y'all do a few things first and foremost solidify yourselves right now as a great budget second choice for consumers who already have their main console so people that abandoned y'all for PlayStation, that abandoned y'all even for the Switch, this gives them an entry point to come back and gives them a systematic reason why. It gives you great product placement, right? And then by doing so, they can become uh, a great stifling, uh, or this can become a great stifling point for consumers that are potentially looking at Stadia. Like as Stadia begins to blossom next year with its features and stuff like that, and it's cheap price point, Xbox can respond and say, hold on, we get that you can get the Stadia 4K unit for buck 30, but what y'all get with us for buck 50 is, you get a dedicated hardware uh, solution, so you get to have your games that you have uh, uh, natively, and you can play them on the go via xCloud, you know what I'm saying, in the beta, you know what I mean? Now, regardless of what my thoughts are on xCloud's performance, 
to the average consumer out there, that's going to hit them hard. You know what I'm saying? So that'll be a successful uh, uh, mind share attempt for that market, right? And then lastly, the most important thing, by solidifying yourself that way, it'll help you usher in game pass saturation that you so need going into the next generation being how you're putting all your eggs in the basket of game pass, right? Now, with that said, with that all said, I still feel like that they need to drop AAA content day one. I said this, you know, on Scram Punks. Check that out. Hashtag Scram Punks on Dirk Griggity's channel. You know what I'm saying? On YouTube. Just look up hashtag Scram Punks. I've said it on Next Gen 720's uh, podcast during the same day. That I get why Microsoft is doing a lot of these initiatives and stuff like that. They're trying to keep their, their, their foot on the next Stadia, and which is fine or whatever. But here's what y'all need to do. Y'all got to understand that it comes to the content at the end of the day. And if y'all don't have AAA content consistently that people are going to flock to in your service, then your service means nothing at the end of the day, okay? Take a look at it. 2019 was a pretty good year for Game Pass because y'all had Gears and Outer Worlds in there back to back. Y'all need to consistently do that. You know what I'm saying? Games like Grounded ain't going to do it. They're not going to do it. They may sustain some people after they come in for the big name titles, but Grounded is not going to do it. And therefore, this is why I say that if they do the former that I just introduced, you know what I'm saying, as far as marketing Game Pass with the reduced uh, sad edition, then I think that Xbox, because it's going to take them some time to build this, this AAA content themselves, what they need to do is if they're serious about AAA content, they need to sign a deal with either 505 or THQ to like get like a trial period. Like if you sign up for Game Pass, the first week that a 505 or THQ game comes out, you get to try it on Game Pass for a week. And if you like it, you get to buy it at a reduced price. You know what I'm saying? There has to be some type of benefit, some perk for content that people want day one systemically in Game Pass, all right? And this will do that. And this will also buy them time to develop the AAA content if they want to. If Xbox ain't trying to build the AAA content, then I would sign these deals in the foreseeable future so AAA content can flourish through your, your hub. You know what I'm saying? But those are just my thoughts. You know what I mean? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Like I always tell you, here's what I think. But with that said, breaking news, it looks like that control is coming to Game Pass. You can follow me on the PNTS Network, down with Triple B. Also down with the HNDC, which is Hard Knock Digital Culture at HNDC.live. All the links to that stuff is below. And with all that said, enjoy the news. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.